this dog look like she wants to go for a walk and go outside? Did you want to go? I, I'm just, I'm not sure what the response is here, but I guess maybe you do, huh? All right. Travels with Dottie here, guys. And, oh, I'm going to remember to put on my watch today. And it tells me it's 8.43 a.m. And it's the 17th. Um, it's 63, 17th of November, 2024. It's 63 degrees. Oh, no, no, no. It's 47. Sorry. I misread it. It's probably going to be in the six, high six, mid to high 60s today. Looks like the rest of the week it's going to start climbing into the low 70s, sunny skies. Um, ideal conditions, many would say, for Quartzsite, Arizona. Um, and it's a Sunday. We're going out for a walk here. I got to tell you guys, I'm, I'm a little... Oh. All right, sorry about that. I had to had a little microphone malfunction. I had to go back to the trailer and reattach the microphone or re reconnect the microphone. I know you could hear me before, but it was not using the good microphone. So um, I was saying I was a bit taken aback, and I stopped in mid-sentence, about um, the uh, uh, number of views, holy mackerel. On my last video, I just did a walk around of my setup in the camp, and it's this morning. It's up to right now. It's up to nine thousand views, and I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy in quartzite. Quartzite videos get more views. I get a lot more activity. I'm happy with a thousand, but nine thousand, holy moly! Um, so that's that's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, so I'm happy about it. I, I like it into to more people. It's a beautiful Sunday out here. Um, I'll, you know, for today's, for tomorrow's video, it'll be this and maybe something else. I'm curious to see how the video I released today that's over an hour does. Um, and uh, that'll dictate really what I keep these daily videos down to if it doesn't do very well. It's like an hour and 15 minutes or something. That's a long video. But um, in conventional wisdom is, don't ever do that. It's a bad idea. Keep them under 12 minutes. But I do hour long videos and people like them and watch them and we'll just see how. But this is Quartzite. Audience is a little different. Um, <clears throat> Look, Dottie, there's, uh, there's my friend um, Judy and Buddy. And uh, Judy's not supposed to be up. Judy's supposed to be not up until 10.30. Buddy! Hi, buddy! Here's Dottie. Oh, you're doing some training, huh? Is there anything in particular we want, you want me to do or not do? Well, last time it was because Dottie got on Buddy's bed. Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was territorial for sure. Hi, buddy. Busting a clover. So. Hey, hey, buddy, you remember Dottie? Hey, nice boy. Yeah, Buddy's, a, I'm recording by the way. Yeah. Buddy's a new dog from a shelter and um, is a little aggressive with other dogs. Not with people though. He's great with people, right? Yeah. Um, and in Peru, they've already met each other, I'm but. Sure they, they had a little disagreement because Dottie trotted up improperly, didn't you, Dottie, and jumped on Buddy's bed. And Buddy was pretty aggressive, but not 
like fighting, serious fighting. There was no blood drawn or anything, but Buddy put Dottie on her back and let her know, this is my territory, my house, and my bed, which is just basic instinct for a dog. But, um, but I see he's, is he obeying commands like sit and stay and? He always did sit. Um, he's doing really good with stay. But most of it, I, I have to just work with him to back off. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have to work with him with things like that. Um, he is pulling me a lot, which we want to work on that. Well, it makes you feel any better. Dottie doesn't obey any verbal commands, <laughs> ever. Do you, Dottie? She's like, wait a minute, don't talk about me like that. So I was just telling the viewers that I got kind of a shock yesterday. You know, like in Pahrump, if I got 500 views on a video, I'm gonna put this up a little. If I got 500 views on a video, I'd be pretty happy. That was scary. And I say, well, in Quartzsite, if last year as a guy, I'll get 1,000 in Quartzsite because people are more interested. Um, and I did one yesterday after I, you know, it took me two or three days. To, it took almost three days to set up everything. No, we're still setting up. Still and um, huh? so I did just a brief tour, like a 12 minute video. 9,000 views. <laughs> People are curious about Quartzite. They, they, they're like, well, how do you run a space? Uh, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's understandably yeah. confusing. Like, it's like a massive where, 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 there's no rules. Well, there's rules, but I mean. Yeah, and, and um, somebody said, you know, I, I'm just, what do you do? Where do you go? And I realized I, I went and I searched for my, I have a video called Quartzite for Beginners. Right. And it shows a map of all the BLM areas, the LTV areas, and explains exactly how everything works. Yeah. So I think that, that'll be a valuable video for people that are, want to come out here and have no idea what's going on. I have some friends who might come out and they can get everything working in January. So I've been leading her to her to your videos so she can get an idea about Quartzsite. Now, I'm not a great judge of this, but it doesn't feel as crowded right it's now as it was. crowded up there. By the road, it always is. Well, but I mean, uh, even in what, uh, west and north, it's, it's oh, crowded. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. It? yeah. But they haven't moved in as much here yet. And there's a lot more bigger rigs along the main road here. Usually it's just tent campers and vans. So this guy over here, I guess he runs his generator a lot, the Class A. I, I, can, bar I can barely hear it. Is he running I, it now? Yeah. Oh, I can hear it now, but yeah, if you, I close up, I don't hear anything. Me neither. We can still hear the spot sometimes on Friday and Saturday nights. Um, yeah. So where in general, don't tell me an RV park or anything, but where in general is Lisa? I know you track her on well, her she's trip. On her way back. I know, I, I, but you track her, don't you? Do you know yeah, what her progress she is? She was in Illinois last night. Okay. So okay. she should be back. She's hoping to be here by Wednesday. I'm hoping she'll be here by, I keep saying, she'll be home Monday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's a little tough. Connecticut to Quartzsite, Arizona is quite a trip. It's about almost 3,000 miles. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 something. She's about last night. She was about nineteen hundred miles. So. so we need to um, uh, connect your security camera. And what were you thinking about with the extension cord and the power strip? Because Did you just want to plug a power strip into your into your uh, jack? Is it a jackery? It's or a, uh, blue it's called a Pecron. Yeah, that's y you can treat it just like the only thing you need to worry about is load. Right. Well, yeah. So if you put her in a power strip in one, you never. I was going to say if you plugged a, a electric heater into it, it probably wouldn't work. But you never, even at home, you should never plug an electric heater into a power strip. It's a oh, fire yeah. hazard. But well, my air fryer. All right. So your air fryer. In um, why a power strip just for the because outlets? My air fryer is on that end. Forty pound. Oh. It 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 should it should be fine. It shouldn't it affect the load. I mean, it's got a 120 volt outlet. You can plug an extension cord into it, a power strip, but you just can't overload it. But an air fryer in itself shouldn't overload it. I just didn't know if you, if you could plug a um, because it's got the um, inverter thing in it. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I didn't know if if, if I could put a power strip that has a surge protector on it. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Okay. 
If it's not, we'll figure something out. And the other thing is you want to connect, you've got a puck now, the, 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 yeah. in the orange thing. Yeah, the, and yeah. I tried to hook up my, my uh, camera. I got a camera to watch him when I'm not here, and I could not get it to hook up. And it talks about different things, and I don't understand it, but I know you will, and you can, under, you can make me understand it. So it may be that I, it won't talk to my puck. If that's the case, then I'll have to get a different camera. Um, well, you know, now that you say that, there are a lot of the cameras that um, won't talk, will only talk to the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. And I, I think the puck doesn't do that. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll, we'll take a look. I, I, my brain's not awake yet. I, that's, I'm up. I'm just not, not coherent in the morning. All right, well, I'll come by later. Dottie, let's finish our walk, and maybe you'll, you'll be a good girl and poop for me. Then you can have your breakfast. You finally started pooping in the yard. Make me happy. So that was Judy, my friend. You might recognize her from a video in prompt. She, she uh, right after she got buddy, buddy she was um, on her way down here from Bishop and she stayed, I think for 10 days and preferred RV resort. She was having um, my uh, uh, mobile RV guy come out and do work for her. Um, she's got a classic um, Class C. And meaning it's older, so things need to be repaired and replaced occasionally. So you can see this is out sort of my backyard here. There's like nobody back here. It's pretty nice. But that won't, this winter, people will come in here and camp back here. It's fine. But right now it's, I feel pretty isolated. You can see you know, my friends are to the right there, and I've got a little bit of space, like that's Cheryl right there with the blue truck. I'm what, about a 70, 60, 50 yards away, maybe, from her. It's just the right amount of isolation for me. Um, oh, you know, the other thing, the other news, if you like gadgets, is uh, I bought um, these uh, sensors for my um, propane tanks. Because generally, the, the sign that I'm getting low on propane is a tank going empty, really. <laughs> and that's no fun, especially if it happens um, to my propane tank that runs my heater, if it happens at three in the morning, that's no fun. Um, so these sensors are magnetic and here's what they look like. Um, and this is a package of two. And these things magnetically attach to the bottom of the tank. And they transmit, they're very accurate. They lose, they use some kind of sonic um, technology that very accurately, especially for a 20 pound tank, they're designed for a 20 pound tank and that's all I have. It will tell you what percent you're at with a high degree of accuracy on your phone and you can set it to alert you when it gets to a certain memory. And this is what the screens look like. Um, uh, let me walk you through the screens here because what I'm going to put up there I have on my phone right here and I can uh, Try Face ID again. There we go. Um, so uh, this first screen is shows you my two sensors, the Empire heater, that's the heater that I have um, use inside the rig, and the main tank is the one it primarily just feeds, um, right now it feeds my stove and my refrigerator. All right, now there's another one, another, screen that you can go into more detail and this is looking at uh, one of the particular tanks and it shows you know a, a, a little bit more information 
Um, and it, it's just nice to have the details available. Um, and uh, it was very easy to set up, download the app, press a button on the little sensor and it connects to the app. And it, it, this is, it's a game changer for propane as far as I'm concerned. Um, so uh, I'll put a link to these. There's diff this company has a couple different types. I got the least, the least sophisticated, I think. Um, mine are the oblong ones, and you'll see if you go into Amazon, they're going to be uh, circular ones that are uh, quite a bit more expensive, but I, I don't know exactly what the difference is. I'm no expert. Um, so coming up here to um, camp, um, one of the things, um, I got questions on a couple of things. Um, one was this windbreak, and if you saw the video yesterday, it looked bigger in the video. That's because when I'm done sitting by it, I lower it. So um, there's less surface area. So you can see here, um, it's, I can lift it up and, and, and uh, you, you put it down so there's less surface area so it won't get knocked over. So um, I mentioned, you know, people like, doesn't the wind blow it over? Well, it comes with these kind of sacks here and I fill them with rocks. There's only two of them. So I have an actual rock on this side, then these on this side, um, and then an actual rock on that side. Because in quartzite, the wind shifts 180 degrees often. So you have to wait down both sides. Even so, a strong wind will just um, blow this thing over and if you anchor it, if you over anchor it, you'll get bending in the metal and you'll ruin it. So um, the other thing is um, I did uh, talk about this water pump that I use to, um, I take my uh, six gallon water tank that I fill in town and I pump it from the ground into, into this. And many people said, don't do that. Leave it in your truck and back your truck up here and so you don't have to lift it from the truck. Well, two things. One is the issue wasn't um, that I, I was having any trouble carrying it from the truck to here. It was holding it up pretty high to get the right angle. You have to hold it up like, if you can see, like this high and it's 50 pounds and it's awkward. And that's, that's an action with weight that could hurt your back. So that's what I was trying to alleviate with the pump. So I just come and I, I put it the, the, put it right down here, hook up the hoses, boom, it's done. And people are saying, back your truck up to here. Well, does anyone see a problem right away with that idea? <laughs> I would have to clear out all this stuff, back up the truck, all because I can't carry a thing with a handle that's 48 pounds from my truck to here that no 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 and by the way i just this is trash um so trash is a little harder here than it is in like an rv park because when i go to town i have to remember to go by the dumpsters and dump this so um So I usually, all winter, you can count on me probably having a bag of trash in the back of my pickup truck. Um, oh, and you know what? I just remembered something. Dottie, what do you think? Your dad almost forgot. Um, so this is the water jug. I mean, it's empty now, of course, but this is no problem carrying around. It, it, it's full of water, 48 pounds, no big deal. Holding it up in the air at an angle, um, this is just a, the box that the pump came in, I need to throw that out too. So we'll take that to the dump, not the dump, the, the dumpsters. Um, that's an, a big advantage of being in the LTVA um, versus the free 14-day areas having those dumpsters, 
The BLM 14-day areas don't have dumpsters. Um, uh, so you have to go in to do it right. <laughs> you don't want to use uh, um, dumpsters at businesses or anything. It's not legal. You can be fined for that. So you have to go to the transfer station in Quartzsite, which is only open certain days, certain hours. It's a little bit of a pain in the neck to drive out there. But here, I just... I can use any of the dumpsters in the four areas. I can hit the one here, or I can hit one that's closer to the road um, up uh, uh, La Posa West as I go into town. I, there, I've got lots of options, um, not to mention the dump stations, which dump stations and water, which do not exist in the free 14-day areas. And uh, that's why they're free, right? <laughs> that's why they're free. Um, I was saying on another video, if you see Dottie there on her bed, um, she loves being in quartzite and loves the desert. She would, if I let her, she lay down eventually on her bed there in the sun in the desert and uh, she'll lay there the entire day, every day, if I let her. Um, and uh, I, I, of course I don't do that. Um, I don't want her in the sun that long, and I don't like, it's not a good idea to leave a small dog unattended even during the day here because um, the coyotes can be bold, um, and Dottie would be no match for a hungry coyote, so um, I don't do that. So anyway, we'll see, how long has this thing been running? I have no idea, but... Um, can you see me okay there? It's, oh, there I am. <laughs> so this is gonna be about a 20 minute video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't terribly exciting, but there was a little bit of information for you in here. Um, so this will not be a 9,000 view video, <laughs> I guarantee. This, if you're interested and you maybe are just recently started following the channel, when I'm in Quartzsite, um, this will be typical for a daily video, um, kind of walking around um, camp and taking Dottie for a walk and talking about stuff. The rest of it is um, almost er virtually every time I go into town, I do a video. So, and the purpose for that is um, to show you all the services and stores and restaurants and grocery stores and mail places and parks and all the things that, and, and there are lots of them in Quartzsite, and, uh, and the closer we get to peak season, the more and more things there are to see. And I'll be showing you all those things. And I basically just, I, I, I don't go and do stuff to do a video. I do stuff that I want to do, or maybe sometimes that I have to do, and I decide to video that for my channel. So, um, you know, a lot of times I'll have people suggest, hey, why don't you go to such and such a place and do a video? And I'm like, unless I want to go to such and such a place independent of my YouTube channel, I'm, I won't do that because it, it just, it isn't, the, you know what happens? This becomes a job. I don't want a job. I'm retired. I do, I, I, I did, those of you who know me, one day a week I still do counseling. Um, so I do a little bit of my old job only because, it, and I don't do it because I, I'm, I, I desperately need the money in retirement. That's not the reason, though it's very nice. Um, Social Security I get, and it lets me earn up to, this year it's $21,000 um, with, without uh, penalizing my Social Security. So that's nice to be able to get pretty close to that. Um, but I don't do it for that. I do it because... Um, you know, I, midlife, I, I walked away from lucrative business career and I started doing counseling because I love doing it. It's, it's mostly I would use the word fun. I get to talk to people like I do. I do it all day Fridays and, to, and I get paid to sit on Zoom and talk to interesting people about stuff that really matters to them. That's fun. I like doing that. And in the process, if I do it right, um, 
I help them. Not all of them, you know, but a lot of them I'm, 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 able, I'm able to help. So, um, and it helps me too. You know, when I hear the words coming out of this mouth, giving someone advice, often while I'm saying it, I'm thinking, Rob, it might be a good idea if you take that advice too. So I learn a lot when I'm helping people. I learn a lot about myself and how to improve my own emotional well-being and emotional health. I'm a, a little bit of a stickler for talking about mental health. Um, I don't like the term. I don't like the phrase. I like emotional health because it applies to everybody. Mental health seems to apply to people that have a diagnosis and maybe take a pill. Um, not necessarily, but you know what I mean. Emotional health is something that every human being, I think, aspires to. And whether you have a diagnosis or not, emotional health is a thing. And um, that's why, like, emotional health rather than mental health. Uh, and uh, you know what's really great for my emotional health? Yes, yeah, yeah, doing counseling, but the other thing that's great for it, this lifestyle, <laughs> and in particular, quartzite. Uh, you know what? You're going to see me in March be all bubbly about getting back to Pahrump, and then in uh, uh, um, May or June 1st, you're going to see me in Eagle Nest, New Mexico, getting all giddy about Eagle Nest in the mountains and all this stuff. It, it'll, you'll get sick of the bubbly happy Rob. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this one, <laughs> you're great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.